one spot, and that's the first time any of these teams, of course, were there. You were looking at Larry Misha a moment ago, who fouled out of the ball game just a moment ago. And Milton Wagner, what a touch. See that follow through, just a perfect form. People in his face. He has 20 points. Now the press pick it up, 2-2-1. Two, two, Houston, the top-ranked team of the country, a 25-game winning streak. Michael Young, rejected by Jones. Now, Louisville getting a little respect for their rejection ability inside. Michael Young turned around in the shot. Lancaster Gordon out to Scooter McRae. Rebound to Keane. He's been quiet. Well, they haven't gotten in their half-court offense, so Akeem hasn't had a chance to touch the ball very much in offense. Oh, what a pass from Drexler. One-handed catch. Ten points now for Young. Six-point game again. Louisville has a great delay game. One of the things, if you remember in our UCLA game, they hadn't worked on that much. Wagner misses, and Akeem now with two big defensive boards. He has ten for the game. Another loss. They're making a comeback. Drexler with 15. And since Lee Shaw has gone out, it looks like there's a, a little different commitment on the part of the Houston players. Jones, reach in. Here comes Benny Anders. Jones is on his tail. Oh! It'll count and he's fouled. Did you see Anders get an angle as he was going down there? right here. You'll see this angle and Benny Anders will swerve out a little bit right here to get the angle. See that? And that gave him the angle to come in there for the dunk against Jones. Stop move. Excellent camera work right there. There's the angle I was talking about. If he went straight on, he wouldn't have had the angle for the dunk and Jones would have been able to get him. But by getting that little 45 degree cut, he was able to come in for the slam. Jones has committed his third foul with free throw misses, but it's a two point game. That six point lead whittled down by four. They were down by six when Michaud went out, but you can see the commitment on the part of his teammates. Not a senior out there. Houston is only three of nine for the free throw line, so their Achilles heel starting to show itself again. And Drexler holding Rodney McRae down very well. Rodney trying to get that ball. There's Young on Lancaster. Gordon Akeem helps out. Akeem going down for the ball. He's got it. He gets it off to Franklin. And Drexler, Franklin partially blocked in the foul on Milt Wagner. That's four on Wagner. Now, Louisville is getting out of their half-court offense. Just as Bobby Knight mentioned at halftime, it was a matter of Houston couldn't get in their half-court offense. Now it's Louisville being taken out of theirs. Jeff Hall will come in for Milt Wagner. Also, another substitution, Rodney McRae is checked out. We have Billy Thompson back in. He's playing with three personals. There he is, 55. Freshman out of Camden, New Jersey. Franklin. He's a 62% free throw shooter, but looked good on that one. And he can tie this game up at the 11.07 mark. Oh, what a game this is. And there's, there's Bobby Knight's man. He says they're not getting <laughs> Not getting uh, trouble getting their breath there. That's the 12th tie of the game. Houston picking up their man-to-man -man a lot better. They played zone the whole first half. In this man-to-man, -man, they've been much tougher. We saw that against uh, both Memphis State and Villanova, too, when they go man-to-man, -man, they can really play people. All coming out the best, misses the shot. Boy, this has been a game of surges, hasn't it? Franklin pushing the ball down the court very well. Houston trying to take the lead for the second time in the second half. Blocked by Thompson. Akeem is there. He gets it up, and he's fouled. That's the fourth on Billy Thompson, but it's about all he could do. Boy, the depth on the benches might decide this game. Now, what is interesting about the fact that Houston has gone man-to-man? -man? When you go man-to-man, -man, you usually can block out much better. We'll see the play right there. There was a block by Billy Thompson. Then he comes over on Akeem, and this time he picks up a foul when he's trying to block. Four fouls on Thompson. You make it a point, Gary. When you play man-to-man, -man, you usually can be blocking out much better than you can in the zone. And Louisville has such great 
these quick leapers that they re out-rebounded Houston considerably when Houston was in the zone. Now that Houston's man-to-man, -man, they're controlling the boards inside, primarily with number 34 right there, Elijah Warren. Now Thompson leaves the game with four fouls. Rodney McRae, you're looking at him, comes in. Akeem hasn't scored in this half, really. He has nine points for the game, 13 rebounds. And now he gets him a one-point lead, 58-57, ten and a half minutes to go. And here comes that man to man. They're really picking up the pressure now. Reach in by Anders. What a game he played in the end. That's a new shot. Drexler, great speed on that play. Coming over from the weak side. And this man to man defense is really giving Louisville trouble. He had to change his shot in midair. 60-57, three-point lead now for Houston. Gordon. Akeem is there. 14 rebounds for him. And here they go again. He's fouled by Scooter McGray, who caught him. He caught Young to keep him from hitting too hard. Or maybe they caught each other. We'll see it right here. Again, the man-to-man -man defense. This one, Benny Young coming out. Uh, Benny Anders coming out. Drexler is really motoring on the other side of the floor, and here he goes. Here's that change, and now look at the dunk. He was going in with the right hand, change it back to two. Unbelievable play. 